joined us today. We are going to have so much fun. Today in our series, Living Out Loud, we will discover that to share God's love this school year, we need to have linked arms. Uh, uh, Pastor Hannah, um, are, are you okay? We, we can't have linked arms. Uh, why not? Is it because your arms aren't working again? Well, I mean, that doesn't help, but... But, but, I mean, but, but there's a thing going on. It's, uh, what is it called? Co COVID. Yeah, we're not supposed to be touching each other. And we can't get close to each other. And then how are we supposed to have linked arms? Well, linked arms, Benny, doesn't mean that we have to actually hook our arms together. Having linked arms means that it is important to have friends and to help others. Oh, good. I thought you had forgotten what's going on in the world and went crazy for a second. No, I mean, no, linked arms is all about being a helping friend. Say, Benny, can you think of a time that you had to do something hard and someone helped you? Okay, so, 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 you know how I don't have any legs and can't do things like that? Yeah. Well, well when I wanted to get to kids' church one time, I couldn't get there on my own because I still don't have legs. No legs, yeah. And so, 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 so then I had to ask Mr. Matt to help me, and he was able to help me get there by helping me get in the, get from the backpack, get through the, in the car to, to get to church, and then, and then, then he got me inside, and then he helped me get out of the backpack so that way I could see everybody. Wow, Benny, I am so glad that when you needed help, Mr. Matt was a great friend to help you. We can be friends like that this school year too when we choose to have linked arms. Yeah, yeah, we, we can. All right, today our central point is God created us to have friends. Can you say that with me on the count of three while thinking about one of your friends? I'm thinking about my best friend, Colton. Are you ready, Benny? I am. All right, one, two, three. God, God created, created us, us to, to have, have friends. friends. I love this central point. I want to do it with him now. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Can you want to do it by can, yourself? Can, yeah, yeah, All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Go. All right, ready? One, two, three. God created us to have friends. Wow, good job, friends. Good job, Benny. All right, it's time to go have some more fun, but we will see you in just a little bit. You're gonna come back and help me with a craft, right? Yes, I All right. am. Say bye, friends. Bye. Bye, Benny. Bye. 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 Miss Hannah, 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 Miss Hannah. My other arm stuck. There we go. <laughs> I have to ask you a question. Okay. Why, why do we need friends? That's a good question. One of the greatest needs of people is to be loved mm -hmm. and accepted. God created us with that need and he gave us friends to help fill it. Oh, I am so glad God gave us friends. Yeah, like you, you're my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Friends yeah, yeah, yeah. accept us even when they know we're not perfect. Yeah, good friends stick with us in good times and bad times. Mm -hmm. You're right, Benny. Now, another reason we need friends is because friends help each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I think I remember my 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 mom telling me that that God gave Eve to Adam for this very reason. I think she said in 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 was it Genesis 2:18 that that God said, "It is not good for the man to be alone." I will make a helper suitable for him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. If someone falls down or is struggling, a friend can help them up and take care of them. We are so much better when we have friends. Yeah, friends are great because they can provide us with love and acceptance and they can help us when we need it. And I have a super fun craft, Benny, that goes along with us having linked arms. Oh, I love crafts. At least, I think I would if my arms worked. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, are you ready to do this craft? Yeah, All right. well, 
Well, I think I'll just you, have to watch. You want to watch me do the craft? Yeah. Game. So, Benny, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half, hamburger style, like this. Oh, I like hamburgers. Me too. All right, then we're going to take a marker or something, a pencil, whatever, something you can see, and we're going to draw half a heart on our piece of paper like this. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going, you got to be careful with scissors though. So if you need parents' help, you don't ask. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out this heart. Now you're going to, when I open up my, open up my piece of paper, it's a, it's a heart. It's a heart. So I'm going to fold it back in half now though. And on one half of the heart, I'm going to paint a picture of me. So I'm just going to do a stick figure though because I'm not a very good painter. I mean, it probably looks better than one that I could do. I don't have opposable thumbs. Oh, uh, yeah, you probably would struggle painting, Benny, right? Yep, I could probably finger paint. Oh yeah, you could probably do that. All right, I gotta give my, give my person some hair. Is it like my hair? Yeah, it kind of looks crazy like your hair. All right, now that I have drawn, or I have painted myself right here, I am now going to fold my paper back in half like this. Now, Benny, what do you think is gonna happen when I open it? Uh, maybe there'll be two people. <gasps> Let's see, all right, when I open, my heart back up. You're right, Benny, I have two people painted on my heart. I was all by myself, which isn't very fun, right? And if I needed help, I wouldn't have anybody there for me. But when I folded it, I got a friend who can now be with me and have linked arms and help me when I need it, right? That's so cool. I think it's cool too. So now our friends at home can, and our friends here at Kids Church are gonna do the same thing. Oh, that's gonna be so cool to see all of theirs. It's gonna be so much fun to see their linked arm paintings, right? Yes. All right, now, Benny, it's time for you to go because we're going to go have some more fun. Oh, okay, I guess. All right, say bye, Benny. Bye. Bye, see you bye. next week. Bye. 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 Hey friends, it's Cisco and Debbie and I am back. I heard that today in our Bible story, we're going to hear about someone, a man who had some great friends. Friends who went above and beyond to help him when he was in need. Speaking of friends, I have a friend whose name is Smiley. Hi guys. Um, Smiley and I love to dance and even with our friends. So let's stand up and have a dance party for 30 seconds. Woo! You guys can sit down. Wow, me and Smiley love to dance with you. Smiley is a great friend of mine who is always looking for ways to help others. Smiley is really good at picking his friends up when they are down and need someone. Watch this. These little red pieces of paper represent some of Smiley's friends. And watch what happens when I do this. <gasps> Smiley picks his friends up when they are down. We can be like Smiley too. When we see a friend who needs us, we can choose to have linked arms and help them. Maybe we see a kid at school who is getting picked on. We can have linked arms by getting help from a teacher or an adult. Maybe someone in our reading class is struggling with their activity. You can ask your teacher if you can help them out. No matter what need it is or who the person is, we can show them God's love by helping them. We can live out loud in school this year and have linked arms. I am so glad you all are here. I love that I have the opportunity to hang out with you all every single week and serve alongside some amazing leaders. Life would not be the same without Central and all of you kids. It's great to be friends with you all. Now, speaking of friends, today our Big God Story is all about helpful friends. Although, before we dig in to God's Word, let's pray. Lord, teach us in these next few moments as we focus on you and we focus on your word, help us have open ears and open hearts. Amen. Now, just like our stories from the past couple weeks, people got really excited to hear Jesus teach. Jesus was in a town called Caesarea. 
The news had spread fast that Jesus was there, and everyone was so excited to meet Jesus and hear him speak. Next thing you know, there is a huge crowd gathered at the house where Jesus was at. People packed the house, and so many people came to the house that soon the house was full. So many people were crowded into the house that no one could fit, not one more person inside. How many people do you think there were in this house? Well, one of the people outside the house near the crowd was a man who was paralyzed, which means that this man couldn't walk. The man had great friends though. His friends were so helpful that they carried him on a mat all the way to where Jesus was. The friends wanted to bring their paralyzed friend to Jesus. The friends believed that Jesus could heal him and make him walk. The house was so full and crowded though, they could not even get close to where Jesus was. How do you think this made the paralyzed man and his friends feel? I bet they became very upset and disappointed. If they could not get their friend to Jesus, then he would never be able to walk. But the friends had a great idea. What do you think their great idea was? Well, see, they found some stairs on the outside of the house and they carried their friend up the stairs all the way to the roof. And the roof of the house was flat and made of clay. So the, friend, the man's friends began breaking a hole into the clay roof. Soon the hole in the roof was large enough to fit a person through it. The people inside must have been pretty curious and confused to see a hole appear in the ceiling. They probably could see the sky from inside the house. Well, soon something started appearing through the hole. It was a man. The man's friends lowered him down on his mat through the hole. The man was lowered right in front of Jesus. Jesus saw the man and he saw the man's friends. Jesus was happy that these men believed in God and had faith that Jesus could heal their friend. He was happy that the paralyzed man had such good friends and the, Jesus looked to the paralyzed man and he said, your sins are forgiven. But then Jesus did something that only God has the power to do as well. Jesus said to the man, get up, take your mat and go home. No one could believe their eyes. After Jesus spoke those words, the man just got up and walked by himself. A miracle had happened. The paralyzed man was healed. He and his friends must have been so happy. Everyone started praising God and saying how good God is. The man was happy that he had such good friends. His friends had linked arms and they saw that their friend needed healed and needed Jesus. Not only did they recognize the need, but they also had linked arms and chose to help him. They worked together and carried their friend to Jesus. And when they got to Jesus, they saw the crowd and they didn't give up. They kept going until they got their friend right there in front of Jesus. These friends lived out loud. Today, we explored how we can live out loud by having linked arms. We discovered how God made us to have friends and how we are stronger together. Now well, see, I've got this piece of paper here and by itself, it doesn't look like much. But when I combine it with the other pieces of paper, you get a really cool chain. Now, that makes it a much more useful this way and much cooler to have around. But just like these links need other links to be complete, we need other people to love and help us. Just like these links work better together, so do we. Just like these pieces of paper are stronger when they're together, we're stronger when we link arms. Right now, we're going to spend more time with God. So I want you to take some time to listen to God before you start writing or drawing your prayers out. I want you to sit quietly and pray and ask God to speak to you about friendships. Then on your piece of paper, you can write out or draw your prayer. You can pray for your friends. You can pray for God to bring you encouraging friends. Or maybe you just need to ask God to help you be a better friend. But whatever it is, go ahead and write it out on your piece of paper.
We had such a great time with you in Central Kids today. To wrap up our time together, we would like to speak a blessing over you. Blessings are pieces of scriptures and words to encourage you and remind you of God's plan for your life. So wherever you may be, let's pause and place our hands out in front of us like we are receiving something. If it helps you focus and listen better, you can even close your eyes. Are you ready for your blessing? Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10 says, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. May God remind you that He created you unique and special. May you know that He invites you to be in a relationship with Him, to be a part of the big God story. May the Holy Spirit guide you and give you peace today and forever. Amen. We loved having you with us today, and we can't wait for more fun with you next time. See you later.